one ordinary man, one extraordinary life. And that seems like an appropriate tagline for a film about one of the most influential leaders in the history of Notre Dame, Father Theodore Hesburgh. And we are joined now by the creators of this documentary about Father Hesburgh, simply titled Hesburgh. Notre Dame alums Patrick Creedon and Jerry Barca. Patrick and Jerry, welcome. It Thanks, is Sam. such a pleasure to have you here. You've just had your big opening in Chicago and South Bend. What's been the reception this weekend? The, the movie's off to a great start. So we, we had a really big opening weekend in South Bend in Chicago. Uh, next weekend, which is five days from now, will be in 35 markets around the country. So this is sort of a big test for the film. Um, I will say, as much as this is a Notre Dame story, we really felt that truly this is Father Ted's story is an American story. I think it plays really well to the Notre Dame community. Uh, it's also playing really well to people who are not even really familiar with him and his story, because I think it speaks to what, what really great leadership can look like. Now, Patrick and Jerry, you're both alums, but this is not a Notre Dame project, is it? No, it was never. Our, our aim in doing this story was always to, to bring Father Ted's story to the widest possible audience and to really tell an American story. And, and when we were making it, we thought, we're telling a historical story, but as things evolve, we realize the message of Father Ted's life and how he lived his life is as timely as ever in this country. That's what I think is extraordinary about the film, is that it's, it's a look back on his life, but it has such resonance and relevance yeah. to what's happening today. Yeah, I, I think we, I think, I think there's a crisis in our country right now with, with, with leadership. And I, and I am not, I'm genuinely, I'm not thinking of one particular person or one particular party. I think that um, there's a different style of leadership that Father Ted embodied, which, which was strong and it was, it was, it involved problem solving and bringing people together. Um, and it, it, it involved, Father Ted was a very kind man. You take all those qualities and roll them up into one and you have a, you, you have a chance to have a really great leader. When I look around the landscape today in our country, I don't see a lot of Father Ted-like characters out there or personalities. And I think, we need to, I think we need to find them again and support people like that because I think our country needs that. I think one of the extraordinary things that, that people learn in this is how Father Ted was able to bring people together. People who had were just as polarized today mm -hmm. as we are in our politics yeah. today. How, how did he make that happen, Jerry? Mm. Well, I think, as Pat just mentioned, uh, you know, he was kind. Uh, he was also results-oriented. He was there to, to, to make a difference with his life and to, to create something possible where people thought it would be impossible. And obviously, he was also led by his faith. I think one of the most interesting things is, you know, we were told he never had a sleepless night. He made his decision and most likely guided by his faith that what he was doing was the right thing and moved on. And I, and I think being kind, bridging divides, and producing results, that's also why it's timely. Those things never go out of style. Being a great leader is always a message that can resonate. Yeah. And, and I also think that focus on his faith kept him from being co-opted by either the Republicans or the Democrats or the liberals or the conservatives. For sure. He, he really didn't belong to any party. Um, and he, it's funny, he never had to face a re-election. I think that's an interesting thing about his, his life and his success was that he was a very public figure and a very prominent um, not politician, obviously, but he was a very prominent leader, let's say. But he was, he was a civic leader. He I was mean, a civic he, leader. He was engaged in the world. Exactly. And, he, and, he, and, he, and he, he wasn't an elected official. And I think in some ways we need to listen to some of those folks outside of elected office because in some ways they're freed up from having to run again every two or four years. Um, there's a lot about Father Ted that some of us in the Notre Dame uh, community know, but there is a tremendous amount about him uh, that, that, that has sort of faded away. That's the magic of making documentaries, is we've, we've tried to bring him back to life through this story. Well, let's take a look at a clip. You're one of the most influential men in this country, aren't you? I don't think I'm trying to be. Father Hesburgh had an extraordinary ability to reach across lines. That's the kind of leader we need today. 
Pressburg, rated PG. Patrick and Jerry, thank you. And if you get a chance to see Hesburgh, absolutely take it. Your work is really extraordinary.